Hey guys, it's Wolf Valhalla Gaming, and we're back with Astroneer. Um, there's been quite a few updates, and actually I recorded yesterday with Cuervo. But unfortunately, my computer crashed this morning when I went to edit everything, and I've not only lost our saves, but I lost a lot of our video from this morning. So, or I lost all the video from yesterday along with some of my saved games. So um, we're going to be starting a new adventure game. One to rule them all. Oh look, it's our Astroneer. Look at that. All right, let's, um, fuchsia. I like it. We're going to stick with our, ooh, frosty. Let's go frosty now. We're going to stick with our wanderer blue. And we're going to stick with our bubbles, or our flight suit, because, you know, it's the one we've had for an eternity. And yeah, we're just going to start this new game. Yep, confirm and start. Yay, there's our drop pod. Let's see which direction we land. I would like to get towards the North Pole. Maybe? Are we head? Oh, we are heading towards the North Pole. Yes. Oh wow, we might have landed like... No, we're, we're a little bit... I don't know which direction this is. We're not on the North Pole, but we're relatively close, and I'll take that. Because uh, they did bring back some stuff like True Flat and whatnot, so... Uh, you know... We will have plenty of fun with that. There we go. Come on. Yep, okay. So here is the beginning. Again, for the third time. Uh, let's get that oxygen generator somewhere where it needs to be. Yes, right here. So we can have tethers and our printer and this guy. We're just going to put you right here for now and unpack him. And oh my god, I miss this game so much. So fun to play, Astroneer. It's such just a relaxing game. Like, it has some stressful moments when you think you're going to die and lose a bunch of stuff, but even if you die, there's nothing in this game that can't be rebuilt within a few hours. All right, there we go. And the first thing we need now is, uh, let's look at our stuff here. So we're going to need a research center and some data. Let's look at our surroundings. We got some compound over here, which is really nice. Um, we can get some tethers going. Get our spider web of tethers. Uh, organic. Get out of here, organic. Nobody wants you. Let's get this compound. One, two. And let's get four. Try and get four. Should be. Oh, there's three. And that should be enough for four. Almost. Four. And we're also going to steal this guy, because it's ours now. Alright, we got some resin over to the left, so we'll go build a dirt canister three for our terrain tool. And let's see, we also need a large printer. Wow. Um, so we need, a re we need one resin for the research chamber anyway, so we're going to go get that. Run over here to the resin reservoir. Oh, there's a hole right there. Is that a good mine shaft, or is that just okay? It's not a good mine shaft. So this episode is really just us getting established. You know how the first episodes always go. There's a lot of work involved. One, two. Can I get a third one? Three, maybe four. Are there any more here? Oh, there's some. There's some more. Oh, running out of oxygen. Maybe if we could hurry up. That'd be nice. Okay, I don't think there's any more here. Oh, wait, there, give me that one. Okay, run back before we suffocate. No suffocation. No, not today, Shaitan. If that's who you believe in. Not today, Loki, if you're me. I don't know, really. What, uh, whatever deity you believe in. We'll just say that. So we got a mountain right here. It'd be really nice. We could build into the mountain. Our base is literally right here. Um, I'm not sure how close to the top of the voxel grid we are, though. Where is north? North is this way. I'm kind of curious to see how far north we would have to go to get to the top of the voxel grid. That'd be really interesting. So let's get a dirt... No. Small canister, yes. We'll get two canisters to put on our gun over here. So we can have some terrain, so we can flatten. And then we'll get a small generator going for the base. 
and that'll go over here. That way we can burn organic, because that was also an issue we had, was um we had too much stuff, essentially. I know that's a bad way to put it, but we just had a bunch of stuff. Um, let's get a tether bundle, too. We had a bunch of miscellaneous stuff that was uh, just laying about the world, and that caused so much lag between tethers and the multiple bases and everything. So hopefully this uh, this new update's a bit more optimized. And uh, yeah, we can maybe experiment. Uh, there is creative now, so once I can get Cuervo back into the game, he's going to be kind of upset that this isn't the save from last night, but uh, not much I can do when your entire HDD fails and you have to save it and restart everything and download games again. Uh, what's over here? Got some extenders. See, this is what I mean. This kind of stuff. But now we can shred all of it because the update, uh, the update allows you to shred pretty much everything now. Oh, we got some more resin. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so we got some more resin. Perfect. We're gonna run back and then we're gonna start our mine down. We're gonna flatten some of the. Oh, we're in trouble. We're gonna flatten some of the dirt out and start our. Or not. The, well, we are gonna flatten the dirt, but flatten the terrain. And then get some, uh, get a mine shaft probably going down from the side of this mountain. If I could not suffocate. No, 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 no. There we go. Okay. So let's move you over here for now. Let's get this, and we're just gonna start a nice flat area based off of the uh, base's terrain right now. Which is typically the way it goes, is, uh, the base terrain is flat to an extent, so it allows you to get a nice, just flat area to put everything on. It's not ideal, it's not true flat, and they thank the gods they did bring back a, uh, I'm not sure if it is exactly true flat, but it is a very, very close representation of what true flat used to be back when this game was still in pre-alpha, or not pre-alpha, but pre-release. And it's just so much nicer when you can just have flats and you can have 45 degree angles again. Oh, it's so nice. And there's also a new tool that's in the, um, what, it, it's like the experimental server where uh, you can literally align the terrain to the voxel grid. Uh, saw one of my other YouTubers that I love to watch, uh, Z1 Gaming, and he was in there, uh, yeah, he was uh, dealing with that. And it's such a fun thing to look at. Alright, so we've got that going on. How much resources do we have? We need a lot of... Uh... Yeah, so we're going to have to build a platform to put this guy on. So let's build a platform to put our research center thingy, research chamber on. Yeah, you. You're going to go on there. And then once this is done... Oh god, we have no power. Um, this is going to be an issue, isn't it? Let me just kind of steal this organic. Okay, we stole some organic. As much as I despise generators, it's our power source for now. And this is pretty flat. I mean, we're still not true flat. You have to go to the North Pole, essentially, to get a true flat, and since the planet is rounded and a much smaller scale, no matter how or what part of the planet you're on, if you flatten something, it'll appear at an angle from a different side. But that's just the way the grid works, so uh, go ahead and power that up a little bit. Get that running, put this right here, and uh, let's start, I suppose we can put the mine like over here. So let's grab the flattest version of this we can, and we'll start working on the mine. So let's just do this, and put this right here, and kind of flatten all of this out. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. I love terrain forming with the uh, the mouse versus a keyboard. Raven used to use a or uh, Raven used to use a controller, and that was a nightmare for her trying to form anything in this game. There we go, and we can put you right here, and just put you right here, and unpack that, and plug that in. Okay, maybe not plug that in. There we go, and now we can start researching. Beautiful. Four hundred and sixty bytes. Let's go. Okay, we've got that started. 
we're gonna start the mine now. So uh, I think the best way to do this is just kind of flatten this out maybe. Let's go ahead and just find a nice flat voxel. Kind of do this right here. Not a voxel, a flat uh, polygon. And then we'll do this. And then when it eats down just a little bit, so we're gonna do this. And the idea is to get as flat a polygon as possible. You see how that one's still kind of angled to the right? And we can kind of go off of that one. It's not going to be perfect. Oop, let's put a tether down, actually, so we can... There we go. And it's not a bad angle, though. So we can use that angle. And we'll flatten up here. And we'll just use this angle for our mine shaft down. There we go. Beautiful. And now we have the beginning of our mine shaft, even though it is slightly angled, maybe? I don't know, is that flat? Did I do it on the first try? I'm, I need the uh, narrow mod, is what I need. The narrow mod makes uh, these fine like adjustments into the terrain so much easier, and it's just such a nice thing. So with the updates, I would like to know what y'all wanna see. Do y'all wanna see you know me, Raven, and Cuervo have a build off maybe? That That's doable. So if y'all want to see a build-off between the three uh, shittiest Astroneer players in the world, let me know, and uh, I'll see what I can arrange. It looks like I've already hit a mine, or a cave. I'm so used to playing Minecraft now that I, I just call everything a mine. Um, looks like that actually is a mine shot, or a cave down there somewhere. To eat away some of the roof so we can bring a actual... Oh no, it's just a harder terrain. Maybe. I'm not sure, actually. Let's come down here and put another tether. Uh, I like putting tethers up on the wall. kind of keeps the uh, tunnels clean. For those of you who are OCD, like myself, it may make sense to you. For those of you who aren't, um, congratulations for not having an eternal suffering for the slightest things not being aligned. It, it's not fun. It's not fun at all. Like, the house I built on Minecraft is not perfect and it bugs me every time I look at it so I'll probably tear it down and rebuild a different design but that's another day for another episode and another you know completely redoing of a bunch of stuff because that freaking took forever to build it was like three hours of just mining sand to turn it into concrete there we go I don't like that they added all this harder terrain to drill through initially like this planet used to be just dirt, and that's uh, that was very nice, very nice indeed. Let me grab a flat, flat uh, polygon back here and keep going with our mine shaft as deep as we can. Oh, we got some resin at least. That's really nice. This game is so relaxing, though. It's the space version of Minecraft minus the cubes. If you round out Minecraft, this is what it is, essentially. <laughs> Go get resources and then build to your heart's content. Minus, you know, having a portal into hell, literally. Let's put another tether up on the wall and continue our path down here. We have punched into another area, which is very nice. Uh, the harder terrain is now behind us, or at least it's right here. So we can kind of mine that away. I'm so excited with all the updates they've had. It's going to be so fun to have a nice playthrough of this game without uh, having to go through and add new things. And we can just design the base, and the shredders will make it so easy to get rid of stuff that we don't need anymore, because we can actually shred the old platform. So it's just going to be so nice to have a nice, clean world, essentially. We can just go around collecting everything and destroying it. Alright, let's uh, continue this mine down. And I'm going to continue... Oh no, we're starting to slope, aren't we? Are we sloping? Yeah, we are slightly sloped to the right. Oh, that's not ideal. Okay. Well, we knew that would happen eventually. With the voxel grid and the way the planet is. So we're just going to keep doing this. And uh, yeah, I'll see everybody in a few minutes. Maybe once I hit a mine shot. Uh, not a mine shot, a cave. You know what? This is Minecraft in space. We're, I'm going to go find a mineshaft now.
So uh, I'll see everybody in a few minutes. Hey guys, we're back and I finally hit a cave. Uh, it actually didn't take super long, so um, we got that going for us. Let's see what's down here. Uh, I see research. Is that a... that's debris. Is this a working... yeah, this is all debris. We have a... one of these guys right here that needs to be powered. What is that? Organic item. Ooh, I've never seen... they added new research items. I've never seen one of these. It's like a giant mushroom. It's a glow shroom. Let's go ahead and put another tether up here on the wall. There we go. I do like the concept of tethers. It's like a, uh, literally a tether. Like if you fall off a cliff, you have a tether that holds you from falling. For those of you who've been, you know, mountain climbing and stuff, you tether to the mountain. So now you tether to your oxygen. Uh, there's a lot of stuff down here that we're going to have to research, so I'm going to start pulling all this back up to the base. And uh, we'll see what we can get going, because now we have... I wonder which one of these is worth more. This mine is kind of deep, so it may take us a second to get up, especially with both of these. Oh, it's, the game is so relaxing. Can't wait till I can bring an actual, like, rover down here and just come collect things. That may be next episode, actually, is trying to get the large rover, or a rover of some kind. Okay, there we go. How much data do we have? Data, data, what do y'all say? We have 652 bytes. That's not bad. Not ideal. Not bad, though. How much is that worth? 675. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad at all. How much are you worth? Okay. So we now know that the little mushroom is worth 600, or like 100 more. Um, with this, we're going to start researching some stuff, though. We have enough to research the... where are you? Where are you? Uh, it's the large platform B? Yes. So this is my favorite platform, essentially. Um, they added the extra large platforms, which are also super nice. So we've got a large platform B going. Um, actually, we're... Let's power our base a little bit more. And uh, we're going to start, we have 158 bytes, so now we need to get the smelting furnace, which is only 250, which is fine, because once this is done, we'll be good. So let's explore our surroundings a little bit. Um, we need 2,000 bytes of data to get a oxygen tank, which is the goal. So we're heading north. I just want to see how close I am to the North Pole, because I felt like I was super close whenever we came out of orbit. Um, maybe I'm just, you know, being optimistic, though. I know I'm probably going to run out of oxygen, but I'll make some oxygen filters. That's why I have two resin on my pack. Yep. Um, let me make an oxygen filter. And we'll keep going for a little bit. So this is north. So we're heading to the North Pole. Um, I'm pretty sure there's actually a purple at the pole. So if we can find the purple that's at the North Pole, we'd be set. Maybe we were closer to the South Pole. I don't know. Oh, there's there's a purple. So that's actually probably the pole right there. So let's get some more resin. And uh, we'll head... Because that's perfectly north, so that is, probably is the North Pole. Let's see. And we'll just have to remember that we have to go perfectly south to get back to our base. Yeah, because there's the line. So we're heading north. So this is likely the North Pole. Which means we can move over here next episode and start our uh, our actual base. I like it. I like it. Uh, we're going to need to steal our oxygenator. I don't know if we'll really need anything other than... Oh, there's ammonium over here too? Alright, we're still heading north relatively. Um, trying to get through this area. Yep, there's the purple. Alright, so this is the North Pole. Or at least it should be. Uh, we'll find out, especially once we power it, and we can look at the stone that's on it. But this should be the North Pole. And I guess there's really no other way to figure out which way is north. Even if you're on it, I guess. Oh, yep, this is the North Pole. You see how the north is actually circling the triangle? So this is the center of the voxel grid. This is perfect. So we're going to go home. Oh, there's copper up here, too. I actually want some copper so I can make a work light, just like I used to have. That way y'all can see everything that I do. 
Um, there's not a whole lot of copper here, is there? There's never a lot of copper, but maybe enough for one. Um, I don't know. There's not going to be enough for one thing of copper, is there? Oh, that's so disappointing. I love to have a work light in the first episode because I know it's it's super hard to tell what I'm doing sometimes, especially in this game. Things are dark. Uh, it happens. So we're just going to keep our oxygen. Is there any other copper up there that I can steal? Oh, there is copper at the top of that mountain. Okay, so we're going to probably die, but we're going to run up there, try and get some copper. Let's not die. Oh god, I don't like climbing mountains in this game. I need my jetpack. I need my jetpack. Oh, that's really cool looking. Oh, I love this game. Alright, where's the copper? I gotta probably build a way up, don't I? Alright, so let's try and build our way up. Come on, you. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna try and get this one thing of copper so we can smelt it when I get back, and then, uh, once it's smelted... No, come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And, uh, just flatten this out until we get up here. Should be coming through the top of that area relatively soon. Where's the top of this cave at? Uh-oh. Might be in danger, guys. May have dug too deep in. This is not good. All right, I'm gonna try and get this copper. Oh no, never mind. Okay, I was gonna say I'll be right back, but uh, I think I might have figured it out, so we're good. Let me just try and get up here now. Come on, and we can just slide down the mountain and hopefully not die. Um, now where's the? There's the copper. Perfect. All right, let's make a oxygen filter. We're starting to run out of power, so we're just gonna try and get copper. There we go, copper. One. Um. Oh, I got a, I got a seed. You know how I am with my gardens. I got to get my danger garden going. All right, we got two copper. Um, where'd you go, seed? Nope. All right, so we got the seed for uh, that bouncy plant, whatever it was named. I'll look at it once we get back down the mountain. Whee! And now we just got to head south to get home. Wait a second. Okay, so this is north, which means we just have to head south. So we go this way. And this should put us right on track to go home. We don't have enough power to really be exploring, but I do want to look in here to see if there's anything worthwhile. Um, a danger plant. Or three. Some research items. Um, do I see anything? Some glass, some ceramic. Resin, we'll take that. Carbon. And some of this. Some organic. Another research item. Okay, so nothing really worth getting. Um, hopefully that didn't cost me to... Come on, get out of the ship. Come on, you. You stupid thing. There we go. Alright, so let's go home. We'll go home. We'll start research. Uh, and we'll st or we'll start smelting, I should say. Come on, get out of here. We'll start smelting. And we'll be good. Home is directly south. I love the cardinal directions now. It actually is helpful now that I know where purples are and which direction I need to go to get home. So nice. Oh, starting to run out of O2. Do I have enough to make one more oxygen filter? I do. Okay. Uh-oh, I'm out of power now, so I don't really have a choice. It's either die or make it home now. And we're heading south, so we should make it home. I think it was through these woods. I wish the beacons shot up a little bit more. I really wish they did. So we're probably on the equator. Or not the equator, the uh... We're not on the equator, we're on the prime meridian of the planet. We dissect north and south. And we might even dissect east and west actually by the looks of it. But we'll find that out later. That's once we get a rover going and all that, we'll figure all that out. And, uh, yeah, it should be a fun time. I'm just glad that we found the North Pole already, because that'll make aligning to the voxel grid and building a nice, pretty base so much easier. And our base should be... Let's keep going south. 
Um, there's the rover that I'm pretty sure is on the other side of our base. Are we on the left or right of this mountain, though? I don't know. Oh, no. That was a big fall. I think we're on the other side of this hill. I wish... Why is the uh, marker not showing up for our base, actually? That'd be nice. Is our base over here? Uh-oh. We're in danger, guys. I thought we'd just have to go south and we'd be okay, but apparently that's not a thing. We might be on the other side of this hill. I might have gone through two forests and I forgot. So let's keep going. Ideally, we're on the other side of this hill somewhere. Um, we're in danger. We're about halfway through our oxygen. And no way to make more. Um, I don't see my base anywhere. Oh no. I'm in danger. I'm in a lot of danger. Oh, there's another research item down there. Where is our base? We're gonna die. No! Uh oh. How did I survive that? We have to be somewhere around here. Like. Oh, it's south is over here. How did I get that lost? Alright, so we're definitely gonna die. Not a good start to the episode, but maybe we'll see where our body is once we spawn in. Oh, that's. Welcome to the first episode of Astroneer, where I'm an idiot. Okay, so, yep, there's my body. So we were, oh, we were too far south. We passed our base. Okay, that's not too good. Oh, boy, we went way past our base, didn't we? Yeah, it looks like we did. Um, please tell me I can make that jump. Oh, I can't make the jump. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mistakes have been made. Mistakes have been made. Um, oh, this is bad. All right, guys, I'm going to figure all this out, and uh, we'll see you next episode, because uh, I'm going to end up dying in here again, aren't I? Damn it to hell. This is not a good start to the season. This isn't even going to be a season. I'm done doing seasons at Astroneer. We're just going to do the playthroughs. So this is season three. Uh, whatever happens, happens. Yeah. Um, there's no resin here. There's no resin. Should have brought resin with me. Is there resin over here? No. Nope. Okay, well, thank y'all for joining, and, uh, I guess I'll see y'all next time. I'm not gonna be able to get my supplies back, but that's fine. There wasn't too much on my backpack anyway. Alright. Let's, uh... I'll get over there once I get an oxygen tank. So thank you all for joining me, and as always, we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.